Hey guys, what is up? Friend of the neighborhood who was here. Was that even audible? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I've got a bit of a tutorial today. This one's going to be on a fairly recent glitch that has been discovered and actually is likely relevant in a speedrun. Uh, this glitch that I'm going to go over is the move set swap glitch. And pretty much what it does is it takes the kind of the idea of what PvP players have been doing for quite a long time. Uh, where you actually just trick the game into swing, swinging a, uh, a certain weapon in a way that it shouldn't be swung. However, it's semi-permanent. Um, I'll just try to explain it as best as possible. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to have a rapier in my main hand, shortbow in my offhand. I'm going to order my weapons in such a way that my halberd is right above my shortbow. And then I'm going to get to either medium or fat rolling. Medium works just fine, though. Okay, so the reason that you want the bow in your offhand to do this is because left bumper will two-hand it. And this lets you two-hand your offhand, which is actually impossible with any other weapon in the entire game. It only works for bows, which is a very unique feature. And we're going to abuse that. So, what I'm going to show you right now is step by step how to do this uh, as best as possible. Let's get away from Andre, because Andre's kind of annoying. Um, he's just tanging away. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll, and then I'm going to hit left bumper in the roll, and you'll see that it'll queue up the action. So, roll, left bumper, it'll two hand, right? So, one more time, roll, left bumper, it queues it up. So, that makes it happen after the roll's over. And I'll do it again, except this time I'll open up my menu. Whoops. <laughs> Sometimes that's kind of confusing for my hands. So, as you can see, I had my menu open. It's not possible. Uh, it, look, I'm hitting my bumpers and nothing happens. So, you can queue up an action. Uh, regardless of if you can do the input, you can queue up an action with a roll. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up the action and swap to my Black Knight Halberd, which, if performed properly, will put my Black Knight Halberd uh, as a two-handed offhand Black Knight Halberd, which is impossible. So, let's try it. Okay, so sometimes the timing is finicky. Um, what ended up happening there is I was actually too slow, and the game realized that I was trying to two-hand a Halberd, and then after doing it immediately cancelled. So, uh, the timing is pretty finicky, but... Eventually, that was too late, so I couldn't actually. Um, once the weapon is two-handed, like there, there's a window where you can't actually swap once the weapon's two-handed. There we go, succeeded. So, <clears throat> what this does is, as you can see, I have a normal ass Black Knight halberd, two-handed offhand. However. <laughs> If I do a certain attack, like let's say roll and then attack, that's not a Black Knight Halberd rolling attack. Interesting. Or how about a running attack? That's not a Black Knight Halberd running attack. So that's the rapier. Uh, in a speedrun, you're going to grab the Astok because it's actually along the way and pretty much does the same thing. However, this is very, very interesting because this is what ends up happening. As you can see, the halberd does full halberd damage, and unfortunately these hollows have too low of health, but it actually does the double hit, there you go, the double hit of the rapier running attack. So pretty much, um, this is relevant in a speedrun, because uh, when you're doing red tear stone, uh, Ornstein and Smo, if you do this to Ornstein, that will hit him to one-third health and stagger him, allowing you to quickly follow up with another R1, which will quickly clean up Ornstein. Saves a bunch of time on that fight, and potentially can save some time on some other fights. Uh, unfortunately, it's not too helpful in other fights, but it's very helpful there. Um, and it saves a bit of time, so why not? So, Obviously, yeah, this glitch is awesome. It's awesome. So relevant for speedruns and whatnot. Cool, you can stab with the Black Knight Halberd. But that's not all. 
Uh, it works for anything. <laughs> so, let's try a dagger. Let's... Uh, short bow. Okay. Oops. Ugh. I keep... I, okay, if you're... <laughs> that was me just being barely too slow, uh, and it's really annoying. There we go. Okay. This is odd. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> this works for absolutely anything in the entire game. Uh, with one exception that I'll get to in a bit, but this is hilarious. Uh, and then... Ha! <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> you can charge with a dagger, you can... You, you can do anything. As long as it is a running attack or rolling attack. So, the caveat to this glitch is that it only works for the running and rolling attacks of weapons. Which... Is still fine, because a lot of rolling and running attacks are incredibly relevant. This guy is still chasing me. I thought he would lose interest at this point. Okay, he stopped. Okay. Um, so here's going to be an interesting thing that I found out. The Cestus, since it has no two-handed, uh, as you can see, I'm hitting Y and it will not two-hand. It has absolutely no way to be two-handed. All right, this guy's really going to be annoying, isn't he? All right, that's fine. I'll just go rest of the bonfire. I want the hollows anyway. So the Cestus has no two-handed attack. However, you also can't two-hand a fist. But, uh, using this glitch, let's get over here so we can set it up. Okay. Alright, I should probably order my weapons. Um, so the important thing is that you can do this fast. Technically, oh whoops, uh, technically you can do, you know, you, can, you don't have to reorder your weapons at all. However, I personally find it much easier to have uh, one of the weapons, or the weapon I'm trying to switch the short bow to, one click away, um, because of you know slight menu lag in, in Dark Souls and various other factors. But anyway, uh, ugh. so if you can trick the game into two-handing your Cestus, this happens. That is in fact the short sword move set. And I am also not losing stamina. So, the most interesting thing about this is that it actually replaces everything with the short sword moveset. And I believe it's that way, or I've been told that it's likely that way, uh, simply because the short sword is the default weapon. I guess it could be a long sword. Pretty much any uh, short ish sword, I guess. But it's not consuming stamina because this weapon doesn't exist. Also, it has no hitbox, as you saw a second ago. There is no hitbox to this weapon. <laughs> um, but, you know what? If you're feeling frisky, you could do an entire playthrough just dancing around to move. <laughs> Go boss to boss. See if you can beat Sen's Fortress with the Cestus. Can you get through the various traps? when you can only move at the speed of a short sword slash? Yeah, so I just thought that this was really, really peculiar, very interesting. Um, and I kind of want to just make another tutorial. Uh, a reminder, I am not going to cancel the tutorial series, the step-by-step -step tutorial series. I am just taking a small break from it. I will get back to uploading those videos as soon as possible, uh, which I'm not sure how soon that is, but stay tuned because hopefully it'll be great. Um, and that's pretty much all I got, so thank you everybody for watching, and Andre! Andre? Andre?